First, another officer-involved shooting in Norfolk turns deadly. It's the fifth this year. Many are saying enough is enough, and they want someone else to come in and investigate. A lot to get to tonight, especially the latest on the shooting of a man by Norfolk Police. Yeah, it's the fifth this year, and with each shooting, more people are demanding answers. Today, police identified the man shot last night in Tidewater Gardens as 43-year-old Willie James. Officers say he lunged at them with a knife, and they were forced to open fire. The chief told reporters today that there is body camera video that will be used in the investigation. Now, a live picture from Chapel Street in Norfolk, where the shooting happened just about 24 hours ago. Ago. Right now, members of the community are getting ready to rally. They are demanding justice for people shot by officers. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Jason Marks and the latest on the investigation. He's live in the neighborhood right now. Jason? I need, I can tell you out here there's a feeling of anger. They believe in this case James was the victim. And as you mentioned, that's why they're gathering tonight to call for a separate investigation. I'm going to stand behind my officers on this. Hours after Norfolk's fifth deadly police shooting this year, Chief Mike Goldsmith took the mic to explain what his officers were up against. I can do a lot of damage to somebody with a knife, and both of those officers were under threat. They reacted per their training. The chief says two officers shot and killed 43-year-old Willie James when he came at them holding this kitchen knife. Police say they went to his home to break up a fight. He died right there on the bottom of them steps. Bullet holes show the place where James took his last breath. Witnesses say he came down the stairs with his arms raised and was not holding a knife. Last night, it was really, really, I was in a state of shock, but I was hurt. I was confused. Robin Vaughn and James have a child together. She says he was by no way a violent person. I want them to know that he wouldn't harm or fly, and he was defenseless against this police officer. Vaughn says James was diagnosed with schizophrenia 10 years ago. She says the officer who first fired patrolled the area for years and knew about James's condition. He was very aware of his disability and who his family was. The chief tells tenant on your side no officer wants to fire a gun. Put yourself in that situation and see how you would feel with it. it you have got to make a million decisions in half a second. I know it was a mistake because the way the officer responded to after, after the situation happened, you know, he was very remorseful. He cried. One officer did have his body camera rolling, but that video won't be released. The two officers are now on administrative duty. One has been on the department for three years, and the other, who family says fired first, 13. It's, it's, it's frightening to know that this man has a badge. He's on administrative leave right now, but we're frightened. We're, you know, he'll be back if justice is not prevailed. And that's why they're out here tonight. We have friends and family and also community leaders out here wanting to show their fight for justice. They believe that someone else should handle this investigation. Now, as you mentioned, there is body camera video. The chief says he has watched it, but he's not going to release it. He did tell me it does back up the story of the officers. That's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.